Welcome to Lomango Plays Banned Fan Games. I'm just kidding. I just mean taken down. If this is Pokemon Uranium, that, that one game that got taken down like a day after release. I got it. And um, I don't really think I've done a lot. <laughs> Like, I haven't played a lot of it, so I'm just gonna make a new save file. Uh, game mode? I... <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna go for the Nuzlocke mode. I don't, I don't care. Um, Nuzlocke mode, let's go. Because why not? Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I'm Professor Kukui Ripoff. A bamba o oh, bambo if you find it hard to pronounce it's a Pokemon professor kid applying for a job, I don't want to work for you. I don't need any info. I'm actually decent at Pokemon, I guess. I don't know anything about this game. This is a Pokemon professor's astonishing powers and intelligence. The Slowpoke is intelligent? Slowpoke is intelligent? Go Popo! Coexist, kept as pets, help us work, used in battle. Heck! Yes! Uh, still so much we don't know. To blah, blah, blah. Every Pokemon has an elemental type. Each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. Why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Uh, ask Game Freak about that. Fill out this form here. Oh no, we have three choices! Oh no! Whatever are we going to choose? Let's choose this one. I, I, I'm gonna... Yeah. Uh, my, my name is a uh, low main... Lo, lo, lo manho. My name is Lomanho. L L Lomango. Your name is Lomango? Yes, it is very much Lomango. Challenges and thrills, and you're bound to do things. Ten years ago, Lomango's family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and expert on nuclear energy. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young Lomango. The Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright, until... It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron! Ah! Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Uh, yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator design really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent! If everybody's finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Oh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange, the temperature ratings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. I want to guess the latter. It can't, it, it can't be the thermometer, I just checked that. So. Uh oh, spooky shakies. There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now. Lucille, you have to leave too. Period, period, period. Lucille! You, you, you better run, Cameron. With Cameron... <laughs> <laughs> With Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscathed. Except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years. Foiling any attempt to try and search for her. The loss of his wife. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Lomango was sent to live with her elderly auntie in Mokitown. Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, 
the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Mogitown applied, Lomango and their childhood friend, Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so, Lomango's journey began. Lomango, come downstairs, you're late! Look, it's so pretty, and it's it's pretty. I like it. So what's, what's on TV? Oh, cool. Okay, op options. Sign me up. Space. Space is the confirm button. Uh, dubious claws. Pokemon with species you already caught doesn't count as an encounter if you. I. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gorsh. Oh gorsh. There we go. I fixed it. Healing in battle, uh, no. Pokemarts, uh, raises trainers' Pokemon levels while keeping same EXP yields. Three map controls. Action. What is, does Z even, Z isn't even registered to anything. Uh, yes. There's a Pokemon battle. Whoa, what are the Pokemon just mega evolved? Okay, time to go. Lumango, sweet. Today's a big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glad I'm seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do so much. Just words. But we both know that you're ready for this. You and that boy, Theo. Always following in your footsteps, that one. You've always been so capable. But I wonder about him. He is younger, after all. I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it! Ready, shoes! To run, hold Z. You can toggle auto run in the menu. <sniffs> oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's part of you, too. And I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure! Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer! Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will ya? And if you don't mind stepping by again after you get your very broken body, love is here! Grow up, Uh... I think we can agree that I should never do that again. I'm Toad! Woo! Oh! I... I just... I'm just good at being Toad, I guess. Look at how, look at that thing. I don't know what it is, but it's a Pokemon. And that is a Pokemon, too. Hey, wait up! Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen, because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, little mango. <laughs> Everything's pretty. Hey, this is a little mango, and uh, your your friend t t t Tommy was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo. Theo. <laughs> um, a special day, both of us. First day of work at field research assistants at Bambo Pokemon Research Labs, traveling across Tandor, catch Pokemon, blah blah blah, Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm very ready. Uh, eh. Honestly, I don't like any of these. I, uh, hidden power is something I don't use, protect is something I don't use, so I guess hyper beam. What the TM anyway? Uh, all out battle. Ampharos would win against Gyarados, but not Gliscor. Gliscor would win against Ampharos and could possibly take out. I, I think Ampharos would have the best chance, actually. Motivation uh, explore the region. That's the traitor aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Okay, I finished. Wow. 
Well, Mango, you seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for you want. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. The saying, the best defense is a good offense, is probably your mantra. You have a burning spirit within you that never ceases. For an offensive trainer like you, Raptorch is the best pick. It's, it's a lizard. It's a lizard. I got Raptorch. I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it a d d Dino. I'm gonna name it d Dino. D Dino, like that bot on Discord. Ha ha. Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Uh, Mango got the start already. Theo, well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? The potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young, I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you, Orchinx is the best pick. <laughs> Orchinx? I don't know how to pronounce that. Yes, my first Pokemon. <laughs> Well, Mango, you have a Pokemon, and now I have one too. Yeah, we have to battle. Not in the lab. Cool battle music. Let's go. Listen to this cool music. Ha! I know something he doesn't, and it's that Orchinx is a Grass Steel type, and you know what that means? Uh, duh. Fire type moves have a four times powers. One hit KO. Aw. Thanks for the money, kid. Best train. Good trainers never lose. I. T it's not a matter of if you're good. It's just a matter of if you actually know what you're doing. Honestly, your Pokemon were healed. Thanks, Professor Bab ba Bamba almost. How come I couldn't win? I, I really wanted to win. Let me turn this up a bit. There we go. Okay. Well, between your starter and Lomangos, theirs has a type advantage. Eh. <laughs> you took that harder than expected. This is just a kid. Training Pokemon isn't easy. Okay, cool. Let's check out Raptorch and see what it can do. Raptorch, a fire ground. Oh, oh no. No. Oh, four times weakness to water. Oh. Ah, that's horrible. Let's see, a hardy nature. I have literally no idea what that does. I have no. Oh. Oh, it tells me the E. Oh, I didn't even notice the top thing that tells me the IVs and EVs. This is decent for being a starter, I guess. Flame body, that's a cool ability. And special attacker. It's probably going to be a special attacker. I'm not sure what a hardy nature does. I don't. I, I don't know natures. Oh, right, I have running shoes. I, woo! Let's go sports ball. And then I gotta hit up my grandma. Auntie. Uh, yes. Oh, honey, came back to say goodbye. It's a rat torch. It's so cute. Come back when you need rest or just when to humor your old aunt. Okay, go sports. Run, 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 Following Pokemon logic, it should be the one that's across from mine. Uh. No, it is not this one. I, uh, gosh darn. Might be this, probably this one. Yes, it is very much this one. Saw, dude. <laughs> I didn't do anything, man. I did nothing. Come downstairs right now. Do 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 do. Sniffle sniffle. Ooh. 
Woo! A po 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 what's a what's a Pokepod? Plays oh it's it's the Poke Gear 2.0. I almost forgot this was a Nuzlocke. Power Plant Epsilon. Don't talk about my mom! <laughs> hey look, free Pokemon. That's the water starter. Water electric. That's a pretty neat catching tutorial. The Pokédex. Woohoo! Go sports. And Pokéballs. Gotta catch them all, man. Gotta catch them all. Kevlar Town. <laughs> like, like, a uh, bulletproof vest Kevlar? I'm not gonna be catching many Pokemon. This is a Nuzlocke, man. This is a Nuzlocke. And then I guess it's time that I hit this up. It's a Chien Monk. I like this battle music too. It's pretty cool. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! This isn't good. Yeah! Chien Monk! I did it! Okay, Chien Monk. I'm gonna call you Alvin and the Chin Monks. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna run back home and heal because I have no other way to heal. Hey, the lights came on. That's really cool. I like that. That's a really cool detail. I like that. This is a cool game. I like it. Okay. Okay, okay. So, in this episode, we got introduced to the Tandor region some interesting backstory garbage and some other things, I guess. In the next episode, I hope I don't die, so, uh, bye, bye.